hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video today i'm going to be showing you how i do a male manicure this is the second time that i'm doing it so i'm not really professional at this or nor have i been trained at it i'm just showing you guys how i do a dry manicure um if you haven't already subscribed to my channel click that bell notification down below and like this video and comment down any questions you have below and i'll try my best to answer them and let's get straight into this video so like i said i'm doing a dry manicure today so i will not be soaking the hands in warm water or any cuticle remover i'm just going straight in with my cuticle pusher to push back the cuticles and try my best to scrape off any um cuticle from the nail plate whilst i'm doing this um i try to be as gentle as possible obviously because it is a man and um they don't really get their nails done like that and this is his second time getting a manicure so the first time i did a manicure for him i did a i don't know whether to call it a wet manicure i think that's what it's called but um i basically soaked his hands in cuticle remover and put them in warm water and just to make the cuticles remove more easily off the nail plate um, but since he did that the first time his cuticles were much easier to push back this time so I didn't bother doing that again um, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do And now I'm going in with a spherical cuticle bit. Um, I bought this off Amazon. I'll leave this link down below. I, the drill bits I use um, in this video are actually from all the same kit. So I'll leave it down below. It comes in a set, I think, of seven. And I just use this to clean up the cuticles, remove any dead cuticle from the nail plate. At the same time, help lift the dead cuticle that's still attached to um the nail plate like i said just make sure that you use this on a low speed and be gentle when you're doing it um to try not to create any like uh rings of fire at the cuticle or to um create any like indents from pressing it too hard into the nail plate so yeah that's just basically what i'm going to do for every single nail and also use it to file off any hang nails on the side of the nails um as he does work um construction on the railways so you know it can get a bit rough um but shout out to him for letting me do this video because i had to make him basically grow out his nails for him to do this video for me but yeah <laughs> so um his nails aren't usually like this it's literally just for the purpose of the video okay so now i'm going in with this cuticle bit i really do not know what it's called guys it's just a long cuticle bit um it's ceramic and it's got like a nice pointed edge which i use to this basically really lifts off the dead skin and the dead cuticle off the nail plate because one thing you want to do with a manicure is to really get in there to lift off all the dead skin um off the um nail plate and this will help lift up the dead cuticle as well 
um, which I will go in after and use a cuticle nipper to nip off the dead cuticle but this just really helps it to lift off so that it's easier to cut um and you always want to make sure that you're just cutting the dead um cuticle and not the life part because that that is a protective barrier against infections um so you just want to make sure you're cutting the right part and you're filing the right part so that um you don't cause your client any harm in the future but yeah that's basically what I'm going to do to make sure that it's I'm getting as much cuticle off the nail plate and yeah so with this part as you can see I'm just going in with my cuticle nipper and I'm not cutting much cuticle off I'm literally just um neatening it up um if you know me or you have me on instagram you know how much i always talk about being scared to cut cuticles guys this is my like biggest nightmare i know it's like um illegal in some states in america um i don't think we have any regulations against it in the uk um i'm not too sure though i've researched and i haven't seen any like major rules against it um just be very careful when doing this um try not to cut your client please just make sure that you're cutting off dead skin i'll um see on the table you see i'll um like tap the cuticle nipper so that you can see like all the dead skin there it's literally just dead cuticle guys um i'll see if i can find like any information on it and put it on the screen for you guys to see um but yeah you just want to be really careful when doing this if it's obviously illegal in your state then don't do it i know some nail techs i have them on instagram that still do this regardless anyways because it just makes everything look neater and have a more you know prettier appearance but oh my voice is breaking guys um but it's pretty much up to you and always ask your client first before cutting cuticles i asked him first before cutting his cuticles and he agreed to it so that's why i went um ahead and cut them um when i'm doing acrylic nails i don't do this um a lot of people want me to do this but i'm just really not comfortable with doing it i feel like i just need a bit more practice um before i just you know cut every single person's cuticles and not everybody is you know um has a strong immune system to deal with that because like i said if you cut too far in it can destroy the barrier that protects you against bacteria um and you can get infections from that um but yeah so like i said just be careful you don't have to cut cuticles you can literally just push them back if you want to but he wanted his cuticles cut so that's why i did it and um basically just do what your client wants and obviously follow your state um regulations or your country's regulations when cutting cuticles or doing any nail services And now what I'm doing is I'm going in with a nail clipper um, and I'm just trimming the nails down. He didn't want his nails like all the way down to the skin. So I just trimmed it um, as low as possible. And then I will go in and basically file it as close to the skin, but not touching. Um, so yeah, just do this however your client wants their nails shaped just ask them and see how they like it and then perform it that way um but yeah i like it cut down for a knee to look because girl long nails are not that cute like on men like you need to have everything like nice and low and filed and neat so that's basically what i'm doing and i'm going in with a manicure file to basically neaten that up i will leave that all linked down below as well
and right now what I'm doing is I'm going in with a buffer to etch the surface of the nail just gently guys don't go and like scratch up their nail beds like <laughs> do it gently so I'm just using this to etch the surface so that when I apply the gel um polish and the base coat it has something to stick to i know that you can get um high shine buffers like from manicures um i don't have one of these because i usually just apply gel top coat but for example if your client doesn't want top coat on you can just use a high shine buffer and now i'm using the macabre base coat i got this um base coat in a kit of i think 24 gel polishes um i'll leave it linked down below with the gel polish collection that i got so i'm just using this base coat and i'm applying one layer um when i do manicures i like to use um a one layer of base coat and two layers of top coat and the top coat i use will be linked down below is the dnd gel top coat um but yeah that's what i'm going in and i'm just going to apply one layer of base coat So now that that layer of base coat has um, cured, I'm going in with my DNT gel top coat and I am just applying that. And after this layer cures, I will go in again and apply another layer of um, DNT gel top coat. And that will just give it a nice shine and, you know, a nice pop and just protect the nail. Like it'll create a nice like layer and it just looks good. I prefer like two layers of top coat then one um that's just the way i do it you don't have to do it my way you just find what um works best for you and that's basically it And now what I'm doing is I'm going in with my cuticle oil to moisturize and hydrate the cuticles. And that's basically it for this um, Watch Me Work, guys. Um, 
yeah i always apply a layer of cuticle oil i feel like it's good and then give it a nice like massage into um the cuticles and into the skin because after all that drilling and filing you'd want um you know to just nicely moisturize the cuticles just to help with um nail growth and stuff there's so many benefits of using cuticle oil so yeah guys that's basically it if you haven't already subscribed to my channel click that bell notification so that you never miss a video or any uploads that i make um comment down below any questions that you have press that like button share this video and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.